welcome back. You may have noticed it's Pride Month. It's pretty hard to ignore it. The rainbow flag has been hoisted over London's Regent Street in place of Union Jack and draped from the White House balcony in place of a Star Spangled Banner, which has sparked quite a backlash in the States. Have we gone rainbow crazy? Or is Pride Month more important than patriotism? We'll debate this. I'm joined by Fox News commentator Tommy Lahren and in the studio, the comedian James Barr. All right, Tommy, off you go. You're enraged by this. Why? Well, listen, I wouldn't say I am enraged by it, but I am irritated, and a lot of American conservatives agree with me. Now, listen, Pride Month is not a new thing. They've been celebrating Pride Month for many, many years, and most American conservatives had no issue with it until it became forceful until it became the need for acknowledgement, the need for forced celebration, the need for forced validation. That's when you lost people. And then we took LGB and then we added LGBTQIA plus 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 and then we included men who dress up like women and mock women like influencer Dylan Mulvaney. And then a lot of American conservatives just said, listen, We've had enough. It's okay if you're proud of your sexuality, but why do I have to be proud of your sexuality? That's where you lost a lot of folks, and we're starting right. to finally well, stand firstly, up I'll and say, say Dylan, a trans enough. woman. Dylan is a woman, so you got that wrong. And secondly, well, Dylan was Dylan uh, was a gay man until I last think year. Lost, Hang on, I think Dylan was a gay man until last year. They've transitioned. They're a woman. You know what, guys? Man, you can identify whatever way you want. You can identify in whatever way you want, but it doesn't mean. You are that thing. It doesn't mean you are what you identify as. So again, people like Dylan Mulvaney can identify as a woman, but that does not mean that he is a woman. I think right. that we lost people right at the beginning when gay people were dying in the streets because no one was looking out for us. Mm. So actually what we're doing right now is just, I wouldn't even use the word celebrating. I think pride is a protest. Has it been, is it a bit too much? In other words, it, do you want to... What does that mean? What is too much? In other words, I think with every campaign, bringing people with you is really important, right? The moment it looks like it's just over the top, like it's everywhere you go, it's pride, 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 pride. Do we need to be that... What, are, you are, you about are you blaming gay people for that? I mean, no. it's not our fault the company. Honestly, I don't that? care what sexuality anybody is. I don't think most people do anymore. Right, so what is the problem then? Why are you so triggered Here's a, by a flag? It's you a rainbow problem. flag. I'll you tell mentioned you, Regent Street. I'm not triggered by a rainbow flag. I'm triggered by the fact that everywhere I go for a calendar month, everything has to be a rainbow flag. And well, I'm triggered that everywhere I go for the entire year, everything has to be straight. Where is it? Why is straight Where's everywhere? my straight flag? Why am I constantly Where getting straight? Where is my straight flag? Why are straight people holding hands in the street? When have you ever seen a straight Flag. Every time we look around now, every damn time we look around, this rainbow flag, this a pride event. Again, you're the White House, this rainbow flag hanging right there in front. If you go to get schools, again, there's rainbow flags hanging out there. Again, there are pride flags everywhere. And we're supposed to be okay with that. Again, the vast majority of people, they don't care if you're gay, straight, what you are. They don't care. The vast majority of people are thinking about themselves, what they have to do. Well, they don't care. They don't care what you are. Again, there are some people out there that are hateful towards people. I get it. But very small, very small. And again, there are, there are rainbow flags everywhere. There's pride events everywhere. But again, this guy right here is triggered by a straight couple walking up and down the road holding hands. Gay people can do the same thing and do. As a matter of fact, gay people, they hold pride events where they walk around in thongs in front of kids. And we're supposed to be okay with that. But this guy, again, is triggered by straight people holding hands. Really, I mean, <laughs> think about that for just a second. They're not shoving anything down their, your throat. Again, they're not, they're not out there with straight pride flags and everything else. They're not out there doing that. You are. You're the one out there doing that.
Let me bring Tommy back, because this made me laugh. Demi Lovato has revealed she got tired of using they, them pronouns due to constantly having to educate people about it. She said it was exhausting. Well, I know the feeling, uh, Demi. She's exhausting, isn't she, Tommy? It's all exhausting. Listen, nobody cares what you choose to be. It's just this, everybody has to keep up with what you feel like today or tomorrow. Everybody has to change the way that they address you. And if somebody, heaven forbid, makes a mistake, then all of a sudden they're a transphobe and they're akin to a domestic terrorist. It is absolutely ludicrous. That's absolutely and to go not back true. To this That's pride, not... By the way, how many letters just... are there now? No, no, I let what? you talk. Well, yeah, exactly. What, no, what no, is I it? let you talk. You're finished, Tommy. Yeah, finish. You're right. Finish your point. Yeah, and there's another part of this whole pride thing. Listen, if it was just rainbows and love is love, there's no problem with that. If you look at a 9 of 10 of these pride events, it's grown men and grown women wearing bondage gear, smacking each other. Often children are involved to watch this spectacle. No, then. I mean, my goodness, if you want equality... Well, Sam Smith is the one and everybody else. He's always up there. They, they, Sam is a they pronoun. Sorry, please finish. Sam used to be a he too, right? We can't keep up with any of them. Demi Lovato used to be they, Demi's them. Exhausted now so she's funny, a she again. Way, He's is... been a, a he. He wants to be called they, them. Stop. He'll be back to being Stop. a he again. It's so funny. They can't make their minds no, up both, what they are. Both of you are straight and you're saying you're exhausted. How do you know I'm straight? How dare you guess my sexuality? Oh, like, let's not play games here. It is exhausting. I don't remember game. Tommy re revealing her sexuality to you. There are 72 you? countries in the world where it's illegal to be gay. That's why right, I ask me one flag. Ask me one question. And I'm with you on gay rights to equality. Absolutely. 100% always have been. Answer one question. How many letters are there now That's in the official... That's such a pointless question. How many are there? It's a flag that represents... How many I letters? don't even know. How many are there? I don't need exactly to Exactly my point. I don't need Look, man, if you want to address inequality in other areas of the world, go there. Address it. Again, have pride events there. Have rainbow flags hanging up there. Again, you're not going to do anything by doubling down here. You're not going to do anything about yelling for equality here when you have equality. Things are equal in this country and in the Western world. They are equal. So shut up. Shut up. People have had it, man. They've had it. Again, we don't need pride events every other day we don't need to have a entire month dedicated to pride to gayness again you have all the rights that i have you can do whatever you want as well as much as i can as much as anyone can but again man you want to fight for equality in other countries well you have to go there first you have to go there. And, just... and now we found out, according to uh, to that uh, John Hopkins uh, Medical University in Baltimore, that apparently lesbians are now no men, no man who have relationships with no men, non men, non man having a relationship what? with non men. I, mean, I don't. I personally don't even know what you're talking about. What exactly. you know nobody knows what they're talking the about. The pride flag is there to represent LGBTQ plus people and minorities. And like all sorts of movement, like Black Lives Matter, the reason it's so loud and to quote right, you, but, exhausting, okay. because we need to All right, but I do want to come back so next time rights. I speak to you to the straight flag that you say exists, which I've never seen. Right. Because I want my own straight flag. Sure. Tommy, great to see you. Uh, great to see you, Jay. May I wish you a happy Pride Month? You may, go on. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! For the most part, man, nobody cares whether or not you're gay. Nobody cares. Be gay. Be who. Be with who you want to be with. I don't care. I truly do not care. And again, I believe there needs to be full equality under the law. I'm fine with that. And again, man, people can do whatever it is they want to do within reason. They can do whatever. And again, man, I don't care personally who somebody sleeps with or who somebody marries or whatever. I don't care. But again, man, I think people are about done with having this woke agenda, the LGBTQ type movement being shoved down their throats. Again, whether they agree with it or not, they'd rather just go about their lives, live their lives. But again, 
The LGBTQ movement is not allowing that. Again, everywhere you look, there's a rainbow flag everywhere. The White House, the schools, man, everywhere you look, there's a rainbow flag everywhere. And people, they're about sick of it. They don't want to be told what pronouns they have to use. They don't want to be told what they can and can't say. So again, we got to understand that it's not all people being hateful. It's about people saying, hey, look, I don't have to agree with that. I don't, I don't even want to deal with it. I just want to live my life. I just want to live my life and people are not being hateful or bigoted if they say, I just want to live my life. But hey guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. <laughs>